The Digital Scene Show is sponsored by NewMediaWebinars.com. Free how-to webinars for digital media creators taught by industry professionals. Check us out at NewMediaWebinars.com. Doug, welcome to the Digital Scene Show here at NAB 2010. Thank you. And you are with? AV3 software, which uh, basically uh, is showing here at NEB 2010 a product called Get. Get, and uh, it's kind of interesting. It's for Final Cut Pro, and it's for indexing your uh, video files with uh, a sort of a, like an audio text, right? It's basically a, a tool that phonetically searches or indexes your media files and then allows you to quickly search on the spoken word within within your content. So can you step us through sort of the workflow? How does it, how, how do you index it? What's the whole process there? Well, basically you point our application to your capture scratch folder in a Final Cut Pro, you know, sort of structure. Or you can actually have a separate folder that you want to actually, you know, tell it to look at. You can set up a watch folder, however you would like it. But basically it'll, it'll go out and look at whatever uh, media files exist in that, that folder or whether it's, you know, your entire workstation's hard drive worth of material. And it'll go out and actually create its own phonetic representation of all the audio tracks of all those media files. And then that index is used basically to perform or match against your criteria that you put in for a search. For a search. So is this a standalone application or does it work within Final Cut Pro? It actually works as a standalone application, uh, but it's highly integrated with Final Cut Pro. It's, it's designed to work with Final Cut Pro so that when you do a search, you find the material you want and then you have the ability to import your material directly into Final Cut Pro, whether it's in the bin or into the timeline directly. So you need to have Final Cut Pro installed with, you you, do. with that application? Yes, you do. And then you can point, point at a location where you have all your, now you said the scratch disk, but for example, some people don't have a, the scratch disk, they store their project files in a Elsewhere, separate. Elsewhere, right. So you just point it to wherever yep. the project file is. It'll read all the clips within the project file? Uh, it doesn't really read the clips at the project file level. Okay. You can sort of tell it to do that if you'd like, but the better way is to just basically aim it at you know a media drive or a folder on a media drive and have it go go do its thing and how long does it take to index indexing is very fast with the uh, with the engine the, the search engine that we have uh, deployed this with um, an hour's worth of material is uh, indexed uh, under in under under a minute and what's the hit rate on, on uh, accuracy? Well, the, the cool thing about phonetic search, true phonetic search versus a speech-to-text um, implementation is that you can actually dial in your accuracy level, meaning you have a threshold that you can set. So if you want to have, you know, basically the most accurate hits, you can actually put the threshold really high in terms of accuracy. And there's an algorithm that is used in the engine that tells you, you know, based on, you know, the way somebody says something, uh, how much other noise might be going on in the audio track and everything else, it kind of factors all those things and gives it a score. And that score is basically in the resulting um, window of your results, the highest scoring clips all end up at the top, basically. Right. Um, so for example, in a place like this, the, our, the videos we shoot, right, it's a highly noise, noisy place here. What would, based on your experience of using the product, what would be a hit rate on that? I mean, are we, are we talking about 30%, 50%? You don't have to be exact, but just to give us a... It's, it's going to be decent because I've got a mic on. If it was, you know, if I was shooting I with a flip video camera or right. something where it's just kind of gathering, you know, all of the audio and right. trying to, you know, you're sure. trying to hear my, my voice over that, it may be less accurate. But the nice thing about the phonetic search is the ability to dial in that threshold. Right. So if I don't find what I'm looking for in the first pass, if I have the setting all the way up to the highest, you know, setting, I can actually lower the threshold and then get more results. And there's no real penalty for doing that because you can actually just, you know, move a move a, a pull down uh, right. menu to another level and then 
automatically all the the new results you know populate your you know window. Now, is there a way to view what it actually uh, index? In other words, so you can see at, at what after it's done index, you can say, okay, it looks pretty good, or no, I want to rerun the analysis and you know tweak it a bit more. No, there's a it's a one time thing. It's a one time thing. Basically, the the index is is creating a a, a phonetic. Uh, equivalent of the audio and so it's not actually even working for words it's right. looking for pieces of language mm -hmm. within the audio tracks right and so that file is really small and it can look at that file very quickly and interpret you know based on what you put into the query string mm -hmm. you know if I want to put in Sarah Palin It'll actually, you know, very quickly say, I know what those words sound like and all the bits and pieces of those words, and it puts together the re right, results right, right, really right. fast. And the use for this would be like somebody with a documentary with hundreds of hours of footage and they're looking for, you know, whatever, Sarah Palin. That, know, or, or that one time somebody said, you know, right. I live in the bush. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, so. Do you have the ability to generate a, a script or a transcript out of this now or in the future in your plans? Not not uh, in the version one uh, product. Okay. Um, we are considering that. That's one of the been one of the biggest um, requests here at NEB is once the people see what we're able to do, that's the next question is like, oh man, this would be awesome. This would be a great you know tool to be able to you know right. help me do my own ca closed captioning or whatever it might be, just to be able sure. to take you know the information that we're already indexing anyways and understanding and exactly. make a transcript out of it. We're considering different ways to, to possibly implement that functionality in the future. What's the cost of a version, is it version 1.0 or 0.9? It'll be a, it'll be a point, it'll be a 1.0 in, 1 .0. in July when it July. ships and it's 499, 499. for workstation. Yeah. Okay. And if people want to find out more information, where do they go? AV3software.com or getphonetic.com. Fantastic. Doug, excellent to meet you. Thank you.